Here's a video for you. Uh, this is what will come in your package, except for the connects if you didn't buy it. You're going to have a port like this. And I don't know if it comes with an HDMI cord. I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure it didn't. Uh, nope, came with a composite video. Okay, so it does not come with HDMI. So this is what it would have come with. If you want to spend a couple bucks, you get an HDMI cord that looks like this. This is what an HDMI cord looks like. It's the best way to hook up your Xbox 360. It makes the uh, graphics a whole lot better, and it's just easier. It's only one cord to hook up instead of messing with the other three. So, HDMI cord, component cord, whichever you prefer. Actually, this is called the Navy cord. Scratch that. All right, now to the back of your Xbox 360, right here. These are USB ports. Don't worry about those. You probably don't need them unless you have one of these bad boys, which is a video camera. If you don't have this, then don't worry about it. Um, right here is for your connects. If you don't have connects, don't worry about it. If you do, that's where your connects goes. This is an Ethernet cord. That's where it goes if you're going to plug it in wired. The back of it looks like this. A little foggy there. There you go. That's an Ethernet cord. Plug it into the back of your Xbox right there. Okay. That'll make it a wired connection. You don't have to do anything else if you're hooking it up uh, online. Also, you're not going to have this one specifically. You're going to have this one. But uh, this one I bought extra for the old Xbox 360 I had because it didn't have an optical port. But guess what? This one does. Optical port right there. So, this is trash. Alright, bye. This is your power plug. It's a funky looking plug. I think it's probably what they use to fix some of the 360 issues. Um, so, I don't know. That's the thing I'm coming up with and telling myself because it's a whole different plug. Um, so, that's where your plug goes. So by the end of that, you should have your plug here, an HDMI cord plugged in down there, or above it, your AV cord. That's where your AV cord will go. And then your Ethernet cord. If you have all three of those items plugged in, you don't need to do anything else. All you got to do is turn the power on on your Xbox and it's going to go. Now, as far as the back of the TV, that's a different story. Depending on what kind of TV you have, some of the backs of the TVs, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see that very well, are going to have these little dealios. HDMI are going to go right there. It's one cord, like I said. It's easy. If it's a component, you're going to go color-coded. Yellow, white, red. And since the uh, new Xbox 360 doesn't come with the HD side of the cord, then you don't need to worry about it. If you do have the HD side of the cord, there's something very important that you people need to know, because a lot of you don't know it for some odd reason. You're going to use all of these. You're going to use red, green, blue, red, white. Red, white, for you people that are not TV literate, is for audio. These are for video. HD video. Again, HD video. If you don't have HD and you're using just regular HD, it's going to be these three. This is, again, audio, video. Difference between one wire and the three wires is higher def. Shitty def. High def. Shitty def. High def. Shitty def. Alright. So that's all you would actually need. Also, just in case if you don't need if you need to know it or don't need to know it, if you do have an optical port on your TV, which I believe mine does, it'll look like this little dealio right here, and a little laser comes out of the top of that right there. I'm pretty sure I wasn't probably supposed to touch that, but you know, hey. Ah. Uh, and then that will give you better sound as well. 
So, again, that's all you got to do to plug it in. If you can't figure out where the plug cord goes into your wall, then buddy, you got some more problems than I thought. Um, but that's all you got to do to plug it in and get it on your TV.